When I pull here for a drag and I go to the top, when he sits to his hip, he looks to re-drag me, right? He gives me a pull through this way now. So now as he climbs to my back, I make a connection to him. I sit and I pull and I get the Yes. So, start kind of Don't use here. When you're in tight here like this, I don't, standing is the same idea. We're just going through our knees, okay? Get the bend of your arm here. Control his hand as long as you can when you pinch down. Make it hard for him to get away. When he gets away, I can go to his wrist right away. I control him a little bit. When he starts leaning in out of frustration, get closer to my grips, my head has to be underneath. Think about my head stopping his chest. My head steering his head. Okay, my hands control the wrist. I don't let the guy's hands get here. If he can get here, he's gonna pass. That's how you gotta think about it, okay? So in this round, he's just gonna grab. I break the grip. Maybe he grabs one, two. Maybe he just grabs one, right? So I kinda let him in. And then I control, break. My hands never stop working, see? My elbows, I can break the grip without having to grip. My head is just kind of steering the position my elbows control. So the difference in this drill is I break, break, control, let him back. Break, break, let him control, get back. Okay? If he grabs a cross leg like this, same idea. Break. Break. I use my elbows. Okay. So about 30 seconds, just drill. Give and take like that. And then I'll say switch. We'll go. That's how you clear. Okay. Now, when I feel that hand pass behind my knee, it, my leg has to go up. Now, as he tries to get his leg away, my leg's like following. That's how we break the posture. That's how I get him in balance. If he's patient, back up. Right, if I'm here, he takes his hand behind my knee and stuff my knee to the, my other knee. No, push it. Yeah. That's why I start running into trouble. We go back. So when he stuffs, if he stuffs my knee here like this, I need to maybe be, be thinking like this. Look. For that little second, if I feel he's gonna stuff my knee and beat the hip, I move my hips and now I have an actual arm drag to the back. I don't wait to see, okay, he stuffed my knee. Well, maybe I will if I'm playing around. I wait to see if he's gonna pass like this. Or wait to see if I can still catch this hook, right? But if he just stands up and tries to run around, look, yeah, make the switch over here like this. When I climb up here, stopping is hard. I want to use the momentum. I make the sweep, boom, my hips first. Or you made the sweep here like this, controlling his leg, sweep, grab, feed the collar. Now I jump and hop, kind of bring myself to the top. And I can go right to the work on his neck. That's a good freeze position because he's stuck. He can't go anywhere. And where this kind of sweep off the arm drag comes from for me is I hand up in places here a lot where, you know, the person's around my waist or, you know, I'm kind of in this situation here. So when I feel that leg lifts up to run around, I make this hook. And we look for this basic, basic sweep here. It's the same, same sweep, but the arms in front piece. There, and I don't wait. If he's stuck on his knees here, right, and he's not doing anything, I don't wait, guys. I don't wait. If I want this leg up to sweep, I'll kick it first, right? He doesn't want to go up. He doesn't want to get swept this way, so his leg goes up. You switch the hook. Right? Boom. Just don't get here, be lazy, let him take his arm down and beat you to the top. Understand? So now, let's put the, arm, the move together with a little bit of a fight. He's fighting for my knees. I'm fighting for head position. Right? Yeah. 
So that's the first part. I don't let him get to my knees. I'm controlling him. If he gets to my knees, I'm breaking my grip. Right? Going one. Right here, my leg's on the outside. My head's facing his ear. When it's time for the sweep, my leg drops underneath, and I pull myself underneath him. Still control. Back to the neck. 